Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy, the Simon Two, and back with another video. It's been a minute since I hopped on this game or even uploaded a video. But yeah, guys, your boy is finally back, and the reason why I had to upload a video reviewing Shinobi Story, the game that most that most of you should already know about, is because that game is looking hella lit. Plus, it's basically an RPG part two. And if it wasn't for the Carabos or an RPG, my channel would have never gotten this big. So yeah. Let's just take a moment to thank the Care Bros for all their hard work and the games they've been providing us with. World Peace and RPG Beyond and also the update they released on Shinobi Life. I actually like the update really much, so yeah. But yeah, let's get right into the video. So, they recently finished working on Hashirama's moves and they look pretty dope, guys. On the roleplay version of the game, the only person that's going to be able to use Hashirama's moves is Hashirama himself. Quick. Alright. <laughs> Check out stage. Yo, so story mode is looking pretty lit. You can basically do some cool animations, like some cool shit to other players, like choke slam them, carry them, all that good stuff. Check out the UI. Oh my god, the UI is looking pretty clean as well. Bruh, Care Bros be making the most beautiful UIs ever, honestly. Wow. The main menu is actually my favorite though. The detail though, they put so much detail into their UIs, moves. This game is gonna be so big. Yo, if this game doesn't end up hitting front page, bruh. I don't know what to say, bruh. You see that blue element right there? The reason why it has yellow stuff behind it, yellow UIs, yellow effects, whatever you wanna name those effects, um, is because that's the element that block has. So let's say you end up having the fire element. The fire element is gonna have those cool yellow effects right near it, showing you that's the element you have. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Honestly, I can't wait until I find out what kind of element I end up getting and what kind of specs I end up getting. I honestly don't know what specs I'm going to get yet. Block hasn't worked on my specs, but hopefully he starts working on it soon. I've seen some specs that he's been working on for other YouTubers. They're looking pretty clean. But yeah, um, other than that. Let's, let me skip to the... Alright, so check it out, guys. This is the first move. Check it out. Ooh, that's pretty clean. No lag. Pretty smooth. And looks really detailed, in my opinion. I really like that. But honestly, my favorite move is the second move. And I'll show you why. You'll see why, actually. Give me a second. That's the second move. It looks pretty lit. The reason why it's my favorite is because... According to Black himself and Book himself... Each branch is a hitbox. You guys know what that means? That means if all branches end up hitting your opponent, I could one-shot them. Oh, that was an L. But yeah, guys, that move is going to be pretty OP. So yeah, Heshorama, y'all better stay away from him in story mode. Now, let's go check out the last move. The last move is pretty dope, though. Like, don't get me wrong, This is the second move is my favorite, but don't get me wrong. The last move is pretty clean. Like, it's almost like the first and second move, but it has lava on it as well, like on the wood. Which is like a bit more detail to the move. And makes you really OP. And I feel like the last move is the most OP you move from the whole moveset. Just because it has a lava. Check it out. It's just one try to book. And that's why I think it's the most powerful move out of the three moves Hoshirama ended up getting. Check out this fire breath right here, guys. It looks so realistic. Almost looks exactly like the one in the show. Pretty dope, honestly. Check out this cool animation. I'm gonna be whipping players in roleplay mode and carrying them all around the map and shit. <laughs> gonna be lit. Katanas are also my favorite, honestly. This is cool effect and feature they added to the katana on story mode where you could hang or like, like, it's almost like rope climbing. You could end up throwing a katana and then using it to pull you to that certain spot you threw your katana to, which is pretty dope. I really like that. Your eyes look pretty clean. Everything looks clean. Oh yeah, check out that full animation. Ooh. And the trailer, <laughs> Trail is actually my favorite. That full animation looks hella lit. But yeah, Shinobi Story is looking hella lit, guys. Check out that block effect. Ooh, combat, ooh, combat, bruh. Combat looks hella clean as well. Of course, combat has to look hella clean. You know what I mean? They're trying their best to make combat really smooth. There's like air combat, hand to hand combat. A lot of combat they're adding which is pretty dope so oh, i just want to take a moment to apologize to everyone that got affected by my choices and decisions that i made in the past 
In the past, I used to be an ignorant kid, and I used to always think I was right at times. And also, when it came to situations that I ended up going through, I could have approached it many different ways that could have, you know, ended up in, like, less drama. But I decided to approach it in, like, ways that ended up resulting in a lot of drama. And I just wanted to apologize to all those YouTubers that got a lot of hate because of my choices and videos I ended up releasing. I know I apologized a couple times about this, but I just, I just feel the need to, like, apologize once again. So, to any of the YouTubers that are watching this video, if you're watching this video, I just want to apologize to you guys and just want to let you guys know everyone changes and I matured. And that won't happen again, hopefully, in the future. We could prevent drama and mistakes. We should end up working together, and that's what we're doing. You know what I mean? Hopefully, we could end up making roleplay videos, all that good stuff. Thanks to the Care Bros, all the YouTubers are coming together. Hopefully, we could end up making some dope videos together, some roleplay videos. If you guys want to see some dope roleplay videos from me and some of the other YouTubers, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, just wanted to apologize to those YouTubers, and also, of course, I wanted to apologize to Care Bros as well because. Those videos where I was discussing the issues and also talking about the issues I was going through ended up sending hate towards the creators as well, so I just want to apologize for that as well, guys. Um, hopefully, I don't end up doing that in the future because I've learned from my mistakes. Everyone learns, grows up, you know. Everyone goes through mistakes, and the good thing about going through mistakes and issues is that you end up learning from it. And that's what I did. I ended up learning from it, and hopefully, I don't end up making the same bad choices I ended up making in the past and the future. But yeah. Wanted, just wanted to get that off my chest and check out that lightning effect. Ooh! Whoa, check out that. What is it called again? I forgot what it was called. Bruh. Rest in Shuriken. Wow, that looks pretty. Oh! Bro, that looks hella lit. Yo, I'm really hyped for this game. Yo, if you guys are hyped for this game, let me know in the comment section below. Wow. That looks hella lit. Yo, big shout out to the care, bro. You guys. Me putting OD work into your games. That Shigori, wow. GG. But yeah, guys, I'm just wrapping up the video right here, guys. Just wanted to give a big shout out to every single person that ended up watching this video and showing some love. And yeah, I know, guys, I've been very inactive. I've been really busy with my own game as well, guys. For the people that really want to know when I'm going to end up releasing my game, there isn't really an official release date. The day that me and my team are going to end up releasing my game is the day when we feel like the game is ready and looks really lit. But we might, we might release it around the summer, but no promises. But if you guys want to keep updated with my game, just join the Discord server, the concept Discord server in the description. And if you guys want to keep updated with Shinobi Story, just follow the Care Bros Twitter on Twitter. Care Bros, and they also have two more Twitters, Nindo and RPG and Shinobi Story to keep updated. Make sure you guys go subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay updated with Shinobi Story updates. And yeah, make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment on the comment section below on what video I should make next. But other than that, it's been your boy the Settlement to one Peace, block. If you're watching this, keep it end of the deal. For those of you who have no clue about my game, I'm about to show you some sneak peeks. If you guys end up liking the sneak peeks, you can easily join the Discord server by going to the description and clicking the link right next to Concept Studio. Then end up joining the Discord server. But yeah, other than that, check out the sneak peeks. So this is the inventory system, looking pretty clean. Nothing is official, so UIs, uh, like those simple stuff that you can end up making in like a day that don't take a long time, they're not official, which means me and my team might end up remaking them or changing them, changing them up in the future. So yeah, this is the, what's called, starter menu, check it out. Starter menu is actually my favorite, it looks really nice. Me and my team are really trying to make starter menu look
guys join my Tutuski fan group, fan server on me. Shout out to Tutuski. Make sure you guys join it. My toy is also in the description, guys. I also post some sneak peeks to my game on the server as well, but I'm not sneak peeks. If you guys want to check out all the sneak peeks to my game, I suggest you don't join that content. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to 7 to 1, and I'm out for real this time. Peace out.